Okay, so I wanna talk about alarm sensor placement for uh, windows. On this particular window, we were able to come in through the side, through these two studs, and then into the actual, um, into the jam of the window. In this particular window, um, it's a crank out window, but what I do is I make sure that the locking mechanism, in this case, is, is all the way up. If you wanna come get a shot of this. So you see this locking bar here travels along the side. And so I wanna make sure I've got that in the, in the all the way up position before I drill my hole so that the alarm sensor doesn't, doesn't end up impacting it. Uh, so what we do is we do a, a 3 8 inch hole right here. And on the alarm side, this is 22-4 wire. So we take two of the conductors and we put a, a blue silicone filled bean on there um, that, that keeps it as a connection between those two. And then we take the other, the two live conductors, um, and we just, those have screw terminals in there. So we just tape this here to make sure that the bean is capable of getting back into the hole without getting caught. So that just slides into place right here. And I chose this location on the window because of this hardware being there, it's actually got a little bit of a gap. So I know that the window itself is not going to hit up against the jam in that area because it already needs to leave a gap for this. Um, in this particular window, we probably could have also drilled in through the top, um, but it was just easier to go in through the side on this. Okay, so the alarm sensor um, is pushed in flush, and it's not a bad idea to put a little bit of silicone underneath that alarm contact right before you put it in. That way it just helps waterproof the hole, make sure no water gets into the, uh, the jam. Uh, definitely what you don't want to do is you don't want to drill through the bottom of the jam because if any water gets in past the original uh, water uh, weather seals, then water can pool down here in the jam and we want that water to go back down out. Um, but if there's an alarm sensor hole in here, water could potentially get in through that hole and, uh, and get down into the, the wall cavity. Um, a lot of warranty, uh, window warranties may uh, recommend you not drill through, but for a wired alarm contact, if you want it completely hidden and recessed, uh, you gotta drill a hole somewhere. Um, so in this case, we went as high as we could. We've got a big long eave out here um, to help protect it from the weather. And then uh, obviously we went on the side um, just so no water gets in there. So that's it for an alarm contact in a, uh, in a rotating or a uh, crank style window. Thanks.